Thanks for joining me today as we continue to look at how we can live when we believe God is with us. My name is Stephanie, and I'd love for you to join me as we sing about God's love for us and how we can love like Him. I will not fear I know the storms will come I know I'm not alone You are my strength so I will say You make me brave You give me courage I won't be afraid I won't even worry Cause you've got the whole world in your hands You fight for me You help me stand You make job singing. Over the past several months, we've been moving through God's big story in the Bible. We've seen how God sent Jesus to be our Savior. We've seen how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Then He came back to life. After Jesus returned to heaven, the early church grew quickly with the help of God's Spirit. In the book of Acts, we can read stories about the church in those early days, when the believers took the news about Jesus everywhere they went, just as Jesus had told them to do. There was a man named Saul who was an important religious leader. You might also know Saul by the name Paul, which is what he's called in other parts of the Bible. Saul actually tried to stop people from putting their faith in Jesus because he didn't believe that Jesus was really the Son of God. Saul thought the best way to please God was to stop the early church from growing. Saul went to the high priest and asked him for letters that he could take to the synagogues in the city of Damascus. He wanted to take Jesus' followers who lived there as prisoners to Jerusalem. While Saul was traveling to Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice. The voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Saul asked, who are you? I'm Jesus, he replied. I'm the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you be told what you must do. Okay, wow. So Jesus himself spoke to Saul right there on the road. Jesus told Saul to get up and go into the city of Damascus. 
Once he got there, he would find out what he was supposed to do next. When this happened, the men who were traveling with Saul were completely unable to speak. They had heard the sound, but they couldn't see anyone. When Saul got up from the ground where he had fallen, he opened his eyes, and he couldn't see a thing. The other men could see, though, so they let Saul into Damascus. For three days, Saul couldn't see, and he didn't eat or drink anything. And that's where we'll hit pause on this story for now. But just so you don't worry, later, Saul was able to see again, and he actually decided to follow Jesus. But we'll get into that next time. The important thing to know for now is that because Jesus met Saul on the road, Saul completely changed what he believed. Before he had tried to put a stop to the church and keep people from believing in Jesus, that was why he was traveling to Damascus, to arrest people. But then Saul met Jesus and he saw the truth. Saul understood that Jesus really was the savior the Jewish people had been waiting for. And that led him to put his faith in Jesus. Everything changed for Saul when he met Jesus for himself. Remember our bottom line today, knowing Jesus changes how you see things. This was true for Saul and it's true for us too. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much for the story of Saul. It reminds us that you love us and that we get to know you and you can change the way we see things. Help us see and love other people in the way you do. Give us the courage to put our faith in you because we know that we can trust in you no matter what. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for joining me today as we learn how we can trust God no matter what. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story, along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.